Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? Hope you all are doing great. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. And if not, hopefully you all have a better tomorrow. So today, I wanted us to discuss Emerald and her very interesting development, you know, that she's in. But uh, first, just want to let you all know, tomorrow I will have a uh, Ruby uh, Volume 5 Chapter 9 review. So uh, stay tuned for that uh, tomorrow. Hope to see you all there. And let's go ahead and jump into this discussion. So now, as we know... Emerald herself as a character, she uh, first was introduced at the end of Volume 1 when she was a part of Cinder's Faction. And she seems to be a very interesting character because, you know, as we know with Emerald, she initially appears to be, you know, disarmingly friendly. You know, she seems to be a very friendly character, a very interesting character. And, you know, the funny thing is, she seems to not really have too much of a bad part to her, but she does have a darker side to her character. You know, she seems to be genuinely outgoing and quick-witted, but, you know, she can be short-fused. She can be kind of upset from time to time. And, of course, you know, her life beforehand, before Cinder even picked her up, she was just a thief. That was really all she was, trying to survive from what we know of. I mean, because there's not a whole lot about her backstory we know, other than the fact that she was a thief, that she must have been in poverty or poor because she was stealing from others. And that might have actually been, you know, how she, you know, got to survive. And, of course, this doesn't necessarily mean that she has an evil side to her, because we have seen that Emerald, you know, yes, she does have loyalty to Cinder, and yes, she does seem to uh, very well like to do this, but, you know, like, you know, and, and be on Cinder's side, for sure, but she, you know, was very nonchalant about the way of killing, you know, Toskin, for example, like, when that happened, and, you know, she doesn't seem to really, you know, be much of a killer, I mean, it's kind of interesting because as we've seen her as a villain, you know, but we've seen good halves to her as well. Because, you know, as much as she may seem like a bad person, a bad individual, you know, she may just be within a situation that she has to be bad. Because she doesn't seem like she's intentionally an evil individual. I mean, yes, she's been taken in by Cinder, and that could have its influences on making her character a more devious character than she would seem to be. I mean... Look at Cinder. Cinder, you know, obviously works for Salem. She is currently now the Fall Maiden. And, of course, she's doing what she can to make Cinder's dreams become a reality, as well as getting her own, I guess you could say, opportunities out of this, getting her own um, wants or, you know, wishes out of this as well. Now, of course, there's more to Cinder that we don't know, but from what we have seen when she picked up Emerald, it seemed like a very abusive relationship, considering that if Emerald did not agree... Cinder would slap her. It was abusive. It was not right. But this kind of shows that this could have also been an influence to making, you know, I guess you could say, um, Emerald more obedient. Now, of course, the situation that she's in, you know, and of course this is wrong. You know, you should never be abusive to somebody. You should never hit somebody for no reason. You should never smack somebody, you know, because you're mad at them or something like that. You know, and it's not right. But of course, at the same time, we see that there's an actual seems like a caring relationship, you know, like, as in, like, Emerald sees her as somebody she can trust as well, though. But then again, Cinder's the only character to have given Emerald a shot, and this is why Emerald may still have ideas or, you know, beliefs in being this way. She could be, you know, just seeing things in a wrong light, you know, misguided, in other words, because Cinder herself is not necessarily the, the best individual, and this could have a whole thing, a whole big impression on her. Now, of course, the good halves to her... We did see a good half to her in Volume 3, because if you think back on Volume 3 with Emerald, which, this is a very interesting situation. Of course, yeah, we learned she was a good fighter, we learned these sort of things, but that's not the only good aspects to her that we actually learned about. Now, the good thing we actually learned about with Emerald's character, which this went through, I think, a lot of people for a loop, including myself, and here's where it actually developed in an interesting way for Emerald. She had remorse for the people at Beacon, and, you know... For them, you know, getting attacked by the Grim, she had remorse when, obviously, Cinder and uh, Mercury had no problems. They did not care. Emerald had concern, and it looked like she had a chance to possibly develop in a way that could have been like, oh, hey, she may rebel and become a good guy. She may actually disband from Cinder and actually become good. And it makes you kind of question, is that possible? Now, the only other problem is that kind of cuts that a little bit is, well... Now that we have seen within um, one of the most recent, you know, chapters of this volume, whether you've seen it or not, 
she's going to attack Raven. You know, she's helping with the attack on Raven. And, of course, bandits are not necessarily the best people. And this does not mean that Emerald's still a bad individual. But for her to just go off and attack because she is the one who makes the first attack from what we believe, from what we know of, on these bandits because Emerald, or because uh, Cinder, you know, tells Emerald and Mercury to make them speak, to make them say where Raven is so they can find the Spring Maiden. Now, of course, this makes you think, could it be possible that Emerald is still a good person, but attacking bandits really makes no difference? Because bandits do do bad things. They, they have been seen, as we know from what we've been told, they have been seen to do bad things from what the guy said to Yang and causing a ruckus. So maybe Emerald has no concern for the bandits, but, you know, thinking about it, maybe she's not really a bad guy after all, but maybe she is having to be bad because of the situation she's in. And maybe she can develop into a good character in the future. Who knows? But, I mean, all that is up in the air at the moment, And but there may be a possibility. There may be a chance that Emerald could become good in the future. I mean, could she become evil still and stay evil? Yeah, possibly. But we'll see. But anyways... Thank you for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, hit it with a like. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And thank you very much for taking your time out of the day to watch this. And uh, hope to see you of Ruby uh, Volume 5, Chapter 9. So take care, everybody. Have yourselves a wonderful day. And have a good one.